Hello there again everybody, Boyd here with you again and we're back at it with the bottom half of the saucer on the big C57D. I've been working um, several hours here on getting all the uh, high and low spots taken care of and all the gaps filled in. You can see we've made quite a mess here, just wanted to show you guys uh, kind of what you can expect doing body work on something this big. And um, I'll get this all cleaned up after we're done here, but uh, wanted to show you the final steps of what's going on. I've got all the... Uh, the high and low spots filled in with our Evercoat and I worked down the initial build up with my air powered sander here just going around it using water that helps cut down on the uh, clogging of the sandpaper and everything and uh, this doesn't spin super fast so it doesn't splatter it around too badly either but I've got that work down to the point where it's all been leveled out and I've been just finishing up now doing some um, block sanding we've got this one kind of area left right here where I could feel a little bit of a, a dip in the uh, panels like I talked about, so I'm doing my best to kind of level that out. As I said, we're not going to be able to get this thing entirely perfect. Um, it turns out that the bottom was a lot more work than the top, just because of all the shapes and then covering up the, um, uh, the extra landing gear ports that we had to get rid of. So we're down to just three now, and I've been working on cleaning up this little edge here, getting all these little seams up here cleaned up, I've still got to come in inside this little ring right here with a um, couple of miniature files and a hobby knife and get rid of the excess putty that kind of built up a little bit in there so we get that all cleaned up. And uh, the goal that I'm trying to get to today is to get this all smoothed out and sanded, get a couple of coats of primer on it, and then we've got to set our landing gear legs. And what we've got to do to do that is to put the bottom dome on, put the extension leg on, and turn this upside down so it's sitting on a level surface. Then we can glue in our three legs in the down position and get them in the proper distance and angle and all that to where it's eventually going to sit on the diorama surface. So that's what I'm working on right now. I'll just kind of show you. I'm just using some water here, getting this uh, nice and soaked down. And then I'm just using my block with uh, 180 grit paper. I'm just doing some hard manual sanding here, you guys. And, you know, you don't really, I haven't really put a time limit on this. I just sand until, you know, I like how it looks. So however much time it takes. Just going back and forth on it in a nice smooth motion. And I can kind of feel it, you know, with my hand and my fingers. And we'll just keep working that down until our edges here feather out and smooth out really nice. Um, what I'll do after that is I'll take this outside and rinse it all off so I can get a good eyeball on it. And then uh, I'll come back and look it over one last time. If there are any small little, um, tiny little imperfections in the surface, I'll come back in with my red spot putty at that point and just put a little bit of that on there. And we can uh, finish up by sanding this down by hand with uh, 320 grit. We won't be really changing the shape or anything because we've all we've got that all worked in with our 180. So that's where we're at so far, you guys. The rest of it'll just be a lot of you know messy sanding like this. I just want to show you the technique I'm using. Just kind of went over the whole thing like that, and I can feel that it's coming out really smooth, just like the top. So it's just a lot of um, boring sanding at this stage. But again, once we get past all this, the upper and lower saucers completed, we can move on to the fun part. Um, Hopefully we can get this by the end of this video, get this all in primer and get our um, landing legs all put in place and see how that's going to look. So I'll be right back and we'll continue on. All right, I'm back with you again, everybody, and uh, things are coming along really nicely here. I spent the last couple hours um, doing my final sanding on the uh, top and the bottom of the saucer to try to get them as good looking as I could get them. And uh, then I went ahead and... Uh, uh, sprayed a light coat of silver on the top and the bottom my my hull color that I'm using here You can see it looks still kind of streaky because it's just a super light coat I knew that uh, this wasn't gonna be my final coat here I mainly wanted to spray that on to find out you know the areas that still needed some work on the saucer and uh, The silver is definitely gonna make those areas show up where I see a little couple little sanding scratches I still need to clean up and 
Uh, there's one little seam over here that needs to be cleaned up just a little bit more. Kind of the same thing on the bottom. But it's really, really close. Everything's looking really good, you guys. And um, it's just a you know couple hours worth of cleanup work, and it'll all look really good. Like I talked about, the main thing that I was worried about was getting this thing straight and um, not have that crooked sombrero look. And you can see, once I kind of clamp this together with my fingers and everything, this is going to come out really nice. We don't have any big... Um, you know, huge dips going on or anything like that. It's going to look really, really good. And that was the main thing I was focused on. Now you can see I've got the landing legs glued in place down here on the bottom. They don't give you a whole lot of area to glue to, so you're going to have to use a lot of glue. And uh, you got to use that center support there with the lower dome to help support it while you do all that, make sure it all lines up really good. But that's all been done. I'm going to look on the inside next to the uh, core to see if there's any room to, to glue some reinforcing in there i might use a little bit of sprue up there at the top and you know make it have a little bit more of a contact area but those legs don't support a lot of weight it's the main center part that supports the weight but they do help balance the ship so you want to make sure that they're on there pretty good but we'll go and take a look at that down the road and see what we got to do with that but i'm not too worried about it um the uh top part of the core is looking good here that's what we're going to be working on in the next video i'm going to be doing over the next few days i'm going to be do, doing my my cleanup on this and then repainting it to get it all nice and even then it's got to have a clear coat put on it uh, I'll be painting the outer ring the darker color that it's supposed to be once we get the uh, uh, you know once everything's been done on the interior and we can glue this all together uh, we'll do our final puttying on the seam on the outer edge here and then we'll mask this whole thing off and we'll paint our little uh, darker ring color I'm going to be using some uh, vinyl tape to make the curve around here you don't get a really clear perfect line to mask to so I'll just do my best and try to make a nice smooth radius around there and we'll paint the top of the bottom. I'm thinking about kind of like a gunmetal color for that. Uh, it's not it's not super dark, but it's supposed to be a little bit darker than the uh, than the hull color itself. So we'll see how that works out. But I'm gonna have to get creative with the lighting and hiding the wiring and stuff like that. I've been kind of thinking over in my head what I wanna do. I basically wanna put some white lighting in the top here to get my basic interior lit up and then uh, we're going to put some mood lighting in, some red lighting here, maybe in one corner, some blue in the other. Just kind of make it look interesting and make it look kind of sci-fi like. And then uh, we're going to come all the way down with our wires and we got to go out through the bottom. We're going to light the uh, engine core on the bottom here. So that's got to be painted. I want to paint just a thin coat of silver on that. So when we light it up with red, it'll kind of, when it's turned off, it'll look like it's silver like the ship. And when it comes on, the light will still uh, come through it. But yeah, everything's really good, you guys. I'm really happy. Uh, this thing's just, a, like I said, a massive material hog. It's just using a lot more paint and putty and primer than I anticipated, but uh, and I kind of ran out of a few little things, so I'll go pick those up this week and we'll continue on. So when you see it next time, it's going to be looking a whole lot better as far as the paint. It'll have a clear coat on there and look a lot more shiny and, and smooth looking and everything. It's, you know, like I said, it's kind of uh, cloudy looking right now because it just has a real thin mist coat of paint on the top of it, but It'll come out really, really good, you guys. I'm really happy with it. The main part I was focused on is going to work out just fine. So that's it, guys. We'll be back here in a couple more days. I hope you have a great weekend. We'll see you next week with another update on this giant C57. Take care out there, and happy modeling, everybody.